Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Tana. So in this case I wanted to fix something that uh, isn't necessarily broken but that takes me a little bit of time usually. So I'm often in meetings so uh, when I'm in a meeting um, I often look for the person I have a meeting with. So in this case it went really fast so I found Arturo Sanchez but I've noticed that not always the right hit comes up. Uh, I talk to quite a few people and often their names sort of overlap and uh, there's definitely someone I usually have in mind in this case and of course it's a bit unfair for Tana to read my mind and to be able to find the correct hit right away but I wanted to get a little bit closer because I am usually a little bit more able to read my mind. So what I would really like is to be able to type something like Arturo and then do something like that and it auto translates and it auto makes it into a reference. Now you can already see that something was happening there because sort of like the text flashes after I, uh, I typed the two semicolons. So let's get this actually working. So the first part is to see, to create a search node and search for everything I want to find. In this case, coworkers, but you can add whatever you want. So if it's people, places, products, uh, concepts, it doesn't matter. Simply have a search, find them all, make sure they're references, because if you copy something deeper, it will copy a lot of extra stuff with it, and that's not really what we want in this case. Then copy as Tana Paste, and we go into an application called Keyboard Maestro. So it only works, unfortunately, on the Mac, and if you have this application, which is a paid application, but it's worth it. You can do cool stuff with it. Uh, open Keyboard Maestro, and Inside of the macro, which you can download from the link I'll show later, you actually paste this. Um, and we clean it up a little bit, remove the top part and the bottom part. It's not really necessary. But here you see now we have a list of references with the name and the identifier. And this is what the macro will use in order to sort of cheat Tana into autocompletion. So if you want to have something um, more likely to be autocompleted, move them up to the list. And if you have them uh, use them uh, less often, move them down to the list. So in this case, uh, especially when there's overlapping stuff like Pedro and uh, perhaps Perez, if you type PE, it's, it's more likely to get Pedro now than Perez. So that's the basics. So let's get and see how it actually works. Let's collapse this one and say meeting with Pedro. Ah. And now we see it's auto collapsing and Turo. And you can see that this is actually quite a bit faster because you don't need to select through the things. I don't need to think about it. The only problem here is that it's not really perfect. You really need to stop a bit after using the, the two uh, semicolons because if you keep typing, it sort of messes it up, but it's worth it for me. So that's it. Just a small little uh, tool that you can use uh, that might be helpful for you. See you next time.